Welcome. In this video, we're going to be learning about the nervous system. Now, the nervous system is just one of 11 different systems in our body. And so every system has a specific job. The job of the nervous system is to help us detect changes around the body. It consists of a central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord. The brain coordinates a response and the spinal cord joins the brain to the different neurons that go around the body. These neurons are also known as nerve cells and there are two main types of them, sensory and motor. Receptors are there to help us detect changes in the environment. A change in the environment is also known as a stimulus. We can find receptors on all five of our sense organs. The skin has pressure and temperature receptors. The eyes have light receptors. The ears have sound receptors. The nose and tongue have chemical receptors. Muscles and glands are also present, and these are effectors. They carry out the commands of the brain. So, here's the nervous system in action. Number one, a stimulus is detected by a receptor. The receptor then sends that information via sensory neurons to the central nervous system. The central nervous system then decides what needs to be done. Then the information goes into motor neurons to an effector such as a muscle or a gland. If it's a muscle, it will contract or relax. And if it's a gland, it will release chemicals. And that gives us the response. So make sure you remember this sequence when they ask you about the action of the nervous system. Now a synapse is the connection between neurons. Here's what it looks like. We have two neurons here, one on the left and one on the right. And between them, there's a big gap. So we know that neurons don't touch each other. However, the information does travel between them. On the left, we have neurotransmitter chemicals. And on the right, we have receptors. Here's how synapses work. Step one, an electrical impulse arrives at the neuron. This pushes the neurotransmitters out of the neuron and into the gap. They then diffuse across and bind to the receptor on the next neuron. This then creates a new impulse and the process continues. So we can see that first it was an electrical impulse, then it became chemical signals, and then it went back to an electrical impulse. And it's very important for you to say the word bind. If the neurotransmitter does not bind or gets blocked by another chemical or a poison, then you will not have another impulse. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.